this video is about the video I did a while back on the blue bowl modification and that is this theory in operation and it is working very well very well and um, you know as us pro prospectors grow in knowledge we learn more and more and um, one of the things I like to do is to get my gold as clean as possible before I put it in my vial um, I'm just kinda I guess you could call me anal <laughs> but whatever so the gold is clean and um, so I hope you enjoy the video take care there we go fully functional and it's almost like these were made to fit I almost didn't even have to etch out the plates these plastic housings um, they they fit pretty snugly in between these two posts all the way around but it wasn't it was a little too snug so it wasn't resting flat up against the base of the blue bowl so I just took my um, plexiglass blade from my scroll saw marked out the ends and just etched in just a little tiny bit on all three and used Gorilla Tape some electrical tape put it all on the chipboards right here I eliminated two out of five of these off from the system and then the third one is the heat and I eliminated that and taped everything off and it still works all three of them so now all I need to do is come up with a way to elevate it just enough for these to clear the table and I'll figure that out. So it's all done. Prospecting here, doing prospecting at home. I've had uh, well, yesterday <laughs> called for rain by one in the afternoon, so I figured I'd stay home and do some stuff. I ran some 100 mesh yesterday, and I'm running more today. Generally, I keep them for winter, but there's the whole season ahead of me to collect more. I was just anxious to try out the the vibration theory or whatever you want to call it, and it works good. It works good. So I just put a bunch in there, and I'm sure you can't see it, but there's all kinds of 100 mesh all the way around here. I, I doubt. Yeah, you can see it. And I zoom in. So, you know, I collect as much as I can <coughs> with the snuffer bottle, but I don't worry about it getting to the center, so I go ahead and run it a little bit higher to get it to clear quicker, and then when I'm done, I'll go ahead and shoot video again, and hopefully can, I'm gonna, how am I going to do this? I need two hands. Well... I can, I can do it and show you how it works and you got to do it a few times boy look at it all in there nice I got <laughs> I wasn't even about to try counting what there was yesterday there was a lot and I'm not gonna try I just I'm sorry 100 mesh too small too tedious, not gonna do it, not gonna count it, nope. But anyway, I'll shoot video again once I get done running what's left in here and then get it to the center of the cone and I'll show you just how it works. Okay, so I've completed getting the cons in there from the 100 mesh. Now I'm going to crank this thing right up. Once it starts to get, whoops, I turned it down. 
once it starts to get lift up the cone and I'm going to turn the uh, vibration on now, now I'm going to watch my level <clears throat> the water level vibration off let that settle back down again sometimes I have to manipulate it a little bit taken quite a bit off from there but now I'm going to do it again Starting to lift now. And the vibration on. Watching my water level. Shutting it down. Quite a glare coming off here. Keep the vibration off. time. down mm. 
going to bring my water level up to where I want it when I do my next step. What I'll do next is um, suck that out of there with the system off. So I'm going to suck that out of there. I'm going to shut this down, unplug it, suck that out of there, and then I'll turn the video back on. All right. and turn the system back on. Good amount there. 